everyone, I am Shanas from Manage Engine and in this video we are going to be talking about the Conti ransomware. Now Conti ransomware which was responsible for over 400 attacks on various international organizations in the United States is one of the most sophisticated ransomware attacks in the entire planet. Now Conti ransomware aims at stealing files, encrypting servers and workstations and the Conti actors demand a ransom in return for decrypting all the files that they've encrypted in the first place. Now, Conti ransomware falls under the ransomware as a service variant. And also, the Conti ransomware, like any other attack, has a lot of attack stages of the MITRE attack framework for it to be executed. Now, the initial access stage of the Conti ransomware is done based on spear phishing campaigns. Executing malicious links and malicious payloads is one of the easiest ways to deploy Conti ransomware in any network. And also, stealing remote desktop protocol credentials is one other way to execute the initial access for the Conti ransomware. Now, once the initial access phase is done, for the execution part, the Conti actors mostly run malicious router scans. And once they scan all the routers, and also they exploit and brute force these routers and other web interface devices. Once they compromise the routers or the web interface devices, they move on to the persistence phase of an attack and in the persistent phase, they lurk in the network for prolonged periods of time without being detected by security solutions. And for this, they use the remote desktop softwares as backdoors. They also use or take a lot of help from other malicious tools like Mimikatz to steal credentials, such as password hashes or clear text passwords to escalate privileges. As far as privilege escalation is concerned, the Conti ransomware actors also exploit well-known vulnerabilities, such as the Windows Printer Spooler Nightmare vulnerability, which is part of the Windows Printer Spooler service. And also they exploit the zero logon vulnerability by the Active Directory domain controllers. Now, once privilege escalation is done, they go ahead and exfiltrate data. And for this, they use the open source rline command, so the rclone command that they can execute to exfiltrate data from the network. So once they've exfiltrated data, they go ahead to encrypt files, servers, and workstations. And in, return to, and in return for these encrypted devices, they go ahead and demand a ransom from all the victim organizations that they deployed the Conti ransomware in. So that's all about the Conti ransomware attack. And as far as the mitigation strategies are concerned, you can go ahead and deploy multi-factor authentication. You can employ network segmentation, traffic signaling, or traffic filtering, and also you can go ahead and secure your user accounts. You can also go one step further and employ or deploy an instant detection and response system or a real-time alerting system such as a SIM solution in your networks to stay ahead of attackers in terms of detecting any ransomware activity. Thank you.